Hello everyone and welcome back to another doodle. Today I'm going to be doing a doodle with an emerald green ink and a fountain pen. The ink is an acrylic ink and I honestly wasn't sure if I was supposed to put this in a fountain pen but the fountain pen is only a dollar and I had a friend that lent this to me and I figured that you know if it's only a dollar I can just buy them another one and uh, it's a clear pen, so you can see the ink in it. But I didn't want to use this in my Lamy Safari because that one was like $40. And so I just put the ink in this one and tried it. But it worked fine, I mean, for the, during the drawing. But um, it, it dried up afterwards. And I think I have to let the pen uh, soak in some water overnight to uh, get the ink out. But on the package for the ink... It says that I can use it in uh, fountain pens, but it seems like it mostly dried up. So at least I know now not to use this in fountain pens. Um, definitely will not be using this in my technical pens. I think the only thing I might use it for is maybe in like a really cheap technical pen that's like refillable. Like maybe I can take apart one of the Micron pens, put some of that in there, and then like use that. Um, or maybe use one of my dip pens. That's really the only thing I could think of that I can use that for. And yeah, it, it worked okay during the drawing. I mean, I, I didn't have any problems with it. The, the pen worked great um, for being only $1. And I'm going to be putting the Noodler's Heart of Darkness ink in this um, a little bit. And I'll give it back to the person so they can have a better ink to use. And I, I use that ink with my... Lamy Safari, and I, I love the ink. It's a really dark ink. It flows great, and uh, but yeah, the doodle was a little bit different than usual. I mean, I always draw with you know, black and white, just black ink on some nice white paper, and that's pretty much it. And uh, the drawing took me about maybe an hour and a half to draw, and. There's a bit of organic looking stuff in it, some stippling, and I, I tend to draw clouds a lot. Clouds, triangles, dots, and a lot of random shapes, but it was fun drawing it. And um, yeah, I'll, I'll try more drawings with this fountain pen. Maybe I'll do one after I clean it with the Noodler's Heart of Darkness ink. And then uh, turn that into a, a doodle for a video. But... Yeah, so far today, the usual, got up, made some eggs for breakfast, had my coffee again, and right now I'm actually drinking a, uh, it's got bananas in it, blueberries, milk, uh, cinnamon, uh, cocoa powder, and I blend it all together, and I've been drinking that. It tastes pretty good. I, I actually do not add ice to it, and the way I make it is I take the bananas I peel them, I put them in like a Ziploc bag, you can pretty much use any any freezer bag. I put them in the bag, after I peeled them, I put them in a freezer. And I like to buy the bananas when they are getting ready to start being spotted, when the bananas are yellow. And uh, then I use them because it's got the strongest flavor then. And the reason I freeze the bananas is because instead of having to add ice to the uh, smoothie, um, you can just add the bananas because they're already frozen. And so it enhances the flavor and it makes it taste a lot better because if you use ice and, you know, it, it, it tends to water down really quick and the flavor kind of goes away. So that's a tip for anybody if, uh, you want to make smoothies. Is it called a smoothie or, or is it called a shake? I don't know why I forget this. The, I well, I know a frosty is like, that's something you get at gas stations you pick up. And um, those are pretty much just ice flavor with like a concentration of like flavor of, of some kind. Mostly it's like a blue or a red frosty. Am I thinking the right thing? Because now I'm thinking of ice cream. Well, let's see, there's a frosty, there's a milkshake, there's a shake, there's a smoothie. So many different terms. I can I can never remember. I, I just call it all a smoothie. <laughs> Honestly, I, I I forget, and I don't know why I forget this. 
I think it's because I just make the one thing. I don't ever have any other ones because I don't eat ice cream because um, of my teeth. I can't have like sugary stuff. Um, like I don't like have artificial sugar or anything either. Um, so I don't ever have any of that. But uh, but yeah, it tastes pretty good. Um, rest of the day, just gonna be drawing. Oh, I did rearrange my table setup just a little bit. I moved my monitor that I had that was above my other monitor over to the left. Well, it's to my right actually, like when I'm drawing. And um, I like having it there because I can use it as a screen for my reference photos for when I'm drawing because I want to practice a little bit doing some portrait drawing and I kept having to like turn all the way over to the screen and like my neck would hurt and looking over there I'll turn my head constantly so I sat it here because I can also use it to interact with people when I'm live streaming and uh I've done a couple of live streams well I should have probably done like 20 but um yeah, I'll, I'll, I plan on doing some more live streams and uh, doing some more portrait drawing to get better at drawing, uh, practice drawing faces and anatomy and all that. But um, maybe I can try to redraw like famous drawings from the past from like really famous artists and try and make something like that. But yeah, um, things are going pretty good. Just uh, rearrange some things, doing doodles as usual. And working on some podcasts. I've got a, I've got a couple I've scheduled in and planned that um, got to work on. But if anybody does have any interest in joining me in an old podcast sometime, you can um, find me on Discord, or you can just preferably if you'd like to have a podcast, contact me through my email, which is in the link in the bottom of the description of every video. Just look there, and I've got a. Uh, I've got a uh, email in there. Just go to email that, and uh, I'll get back with you on that. But um, yeah, it's a pretty good day out. It's only in like the high seventies today. It was like felt like it was ninety something yesterday. It's pretty hot. But um, yeah, things are going pretty good. Getting a lot of doodles done. Working on a lot of things, and uh, just uh, just moving along here. But I'm gonna go ahead and work on some more doodles. Get some drawing done, and see if I can. See about rearranging a little bit more, make it more uh, uh, convenient in the setup that I have here. And, uh, yeah, I mean, I can talk for maybe hours about why I have it set up this way and how I have it set up. That could be for a separate video, but um, I'll kind of, you know, go into that separately, as I said, some other time. But, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and work on some drawing. I, I, I'm thinking about maybe working on the moleskin today maybe but we'll find out although that takes quite a while to finish and it is currently 10 54 a.m and i've only got um two hours today to work on this before i have other things i gotta work on but so i think i'm gonna work in the metallic sketchbook and then tomorrow work on the moleskin with the roaching isograph that's gonna be probably one of my favorite pens for detailed stuff. The fountain pen would probably be a close second, like right, I, it really depends on the paper, honestly, it really depends on the paper, but I really like the roaching isograph, but um, anyways, I'm gonna go ahead and work on some doodles, and if you have any questions, go ahead and ask me below, and you have fun creating out there, and I'll see you in the next video. Have a good day.